Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for November 2022. What are they hiding from you? What are they not telling you? We're going to take a look at the person that's on your mind or the person that you're dealing with. We're going to see what this person's not telling you. And then we'll finish off the read to see uh, if this person will come clean towards you or if you will find out on your own. So apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Um, even though this is love focused, this could be with anybody. You could switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what, re take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you offer a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Capricorn, let's get started here. Tell me about Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn, the person that Capricorn is dealing with or thinking of. What is this person hiding from Capricorn? What is this person hiding from Capricorn? For November 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. What is this person hiding from Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for November 2022 for Capricorn. Death, Scorpio energy. Nine of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, The World. I feel like this person's really tired. Tired of the work. I feel like this person also has like an illness here too. You know, something that, you know, uh, they, they deal with on a consistent basis here. Yeah. Um, Sort of like a like an immune deficiency situation here, okay? So I feel like this person's tired a lot or that this person doesn't have a lot of energy here. Um, you know, maybe this person has never told you that they had a medical condition here, okay? Uh, with the World card and Judgment card and the Ten of Swords, yeah, I feel like this person wants to close things out or end things here with you, okay? It seems like this person is going through a major change or a major transformation and they feel like this person doesn't want you to be caught up in their line of fire here okay so a uh, death card scorpio energy judgment sagittarius energy tell me about the death card here why is the death card here you know the four of pentacles tell me about the nine of wands why is the nine of wands here and the queen of swords libra aquarius gemini so this person is definitely withholding communication here from you okay um this person keeps a lot to themselves in general. I mean, I mean, with the death card, it could be an indication that, you know, maybe this person did lose someone in their life, you know, someone that was close to them, okay? Uh, to uh, perhaps a disease or something like that. Uh, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Eight of Pentacles here, and the Page of Pentacles, the World here, and the Three of Swords. What we have here is I feel like, you know, maybe this person's a single parent and someone here lost a child, okay? So right now, I feel like this person's trying to distract themselves here trying to work and do and do what they have to do so to sort of get by because i feel like this person is definitely going through something really really big um i feel like you just met this person recently okay and i feel like this could have just happened like very quickly very unexpectedly uh so i feel like this person is sort of like you know they're not communicating the same way as they did before when they first initially met you. The Judgment card and the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Swords here, and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Energy. I, I just feel like this is bad timing. Yeah, this is bad timing. This person could also be cycling through some sort of karma here too, um, Capricorn. Uh, let's see what else we have here. What else do we have here for Capricorn? Will this person come clean towards Capricorn? Will this person come clean towards Capricorn for November 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. Will this person come clean towards Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for November 2022. Will this person come clean towards Capricorn? All right, we have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, and the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Empress here and the Magician, and then we have the Seven of Wands here and the Hermit. 
we have someone here that's definitely doing some sort of healing work here okay like i said also this person's distracting themselves here with work okay is this person gonna tell you i don't i i feel like this person won't yeah whatever is going on here i feel like uh, you know i feel like this person has suffered a lot of loss in their life this person could have lost a parent here too and what this person is trying to do i feel like this person is trying to manifest some sort of change in their life or manifest good luck in their life right now okay with the seven of wands here and the hermit yeah i i feel like this person just doesn't want to communicate this person is definitely going to continue to distance themselves here and, and and focus on their healing here all right uh tell me about temperance why is temperance here why is temperance here okay we have the lovers gemini energy the knight of pentacles and the five of wands you know, clearly I feel like there is love for you here, but I feel like this person is trying to fight it right now, okay? The lover's Gemini energy and the five of wands. Tell me about the uh, empress here. We have the eight of wands and the magician and the high priestess. Yeah, I, I just don't see this person telling you, okay? Um, this person just has a lot going on. I, I feel like they don't want to burden you with I, I feel like this person doesn't want to burden you with their problems here, uh, Capricorn. Okay, the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces here. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? You know, Justice, Libra, Energy. Tell me about the Hermit and the Four of Wands here. You know, I do feel like this person does see a potential that this can turn into some, something more. But, you know, this person just has a lot on their plate. Uh, you know, this person is just in a very, 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 very negative space right now with the uh, with the devil card here. So, you know, I just feel like, like I said, I feel like this person is going through a lot right now. They're going through a lot of changes, very quick and abrupt changes that, you know, I feel like this person is having a hard time keeping up with. And I feel like, like I said, I feel like this person is definitely taking a step back here, withdrawing themselves, distancing, uh, distancing themselves so that, you know, you are not burdened by their problems here, okay? Yeah, I just feel like this person doesn't want to pull your energy down or drain your energy. I feel like this person's definitely doing the right thing by doing that, okay? This is the right and noble thing to do because this person clearly is suffering. And I feel like this person does not want you to be in their, their path of destruction because, you know, there is a saying, there is, you know, I mean, it's, it, it is it's sort of like a cliche, but yeah, hurt people do hurt other people. And this person's really hurt right now. And this person just does not want to take it out on you. So this person is doing the right thing by taking a step back and just not being in your space or being around you here. Okay, so um, Capricorn. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.